Amen. The Don wants you. Over in the comms tent. Yep. Thanks, Dill. Sleep behind the wheel, or he's gonna give himself another heart attack. Logistics are a mess, I get that. But it's not worth killing yourself over. Yeah. I'll put a fucking A on that, Jonesy. A fucking A on that. You see the news yet? No. Why? <laughs> You're almost famous. Rudwell, LDF just put the boot in. They went all this fritzed in 48 hours. 48 fucking hours. Never mind our permits for the roads aren't valid yet. Or, or, or the fact that the NMCCs are all choked. No, oh, ah. The Blue L's want us gone. Cancel the exercises by all means. But this, this is suicide by logistics. I swear, if the Russians invade, it couldn't be too fucking soon. Listen, it's all hands on deck. Even the colonels out there hitting corners. I need everyone to do the same. Not a problem, sir. He didn't let me finish. I need everyone, including that slack-ass corporal. Corporal Stipe. I love that I don't have to explain myself to you specialists. But then I guess that's what makes you so special. He's on task, carting our little shit over to the burn pit. And sorry to say, I want you to tag along. Stop him from getting on the business end of an MP's nightstick. 
Roger that. Things are tense enough as it is. The Livonian Defense Force have the accident area locked down. You know why? I just got the word. Highly toxic vapors. In addition to structural instability, that factory is sitting on a landfill of chemical crap. Methyl isocyanate. Apparently it's really fucky stuff. LDF began evacuating Nodvor this morning, and the radius of effects only getting bigger. So, PPE will be mandatory from zero hundred hours. Oh, sir? Uh, Norad's on the line here. Patch it through to the LC's office, would you, Keats? In the meantime, you're hauling ass. There's a loaded hammock over by the main gate. I don't know. Russia joining up with CSAT? I mean, yeah, being trading partners is one thing, but full-on membership? That's quite a commitment. And it's not working out so well for Belarus now, is it? Hey, Major wants me with you. What? Are you his stoolie now? Okay, fine. I gotta ask a little favor first. The fuck you will, Jack. Last one I did for you got me NJP'd. <laughs> yeah. Could you just swing by the armory? Pick up my M-Spec device? I'd go myself, but, you know, reasons. I thought we were on a garbage run. Sure. But there's something I gotta do on route. Baker, Corporal Stipe wants his doohickey. Right. Spectrum device? There's one in the back of the Faraday cage. Nice improv in here. You still expecting World War III? Always, man. Doomsday clock. It's one minute two. Oh, I'm driving then. I'd say that's a reasonable assumption. You gonna give me directions or just be a prick all night? Directions? Oh, you really have been living the high life, haven't you, Rudd? Doesn't know how to get to the good old black goop spit. Follow the road, princess. <laughs> you mean the smell? Ah, there we go. That's the spirit. So, what's this thing you gotta do? About that.
Oh, it's not through the roadblock. Do you think the Russians duped the drone? Factory? Come on, I don't want to keep going over that. It was bad and it happened. End of. Okay, top of the hill. Pull over at the layback. You want to tell me what we're doing? Hasn't anything struck you as kind of strange lately? Yeah. Life is strange. What's your point? My point? You hear that shit about a chemical leak? Yeah. You hear we got 48 hours to get our asses stateside? Yeah. Because I'm hearing everything. Because it's all out there, tingling on the airwaves, Rudd. You don't believe me? Try the spectrum device. You see the transmitter tower? Focus the triangular antenna at it. And, uh, switch to detail mode. On your screen, you got wavy lines. Waves, Jack. Yeah. Our electromagnetic sea. Now, in with those, there's a peak. That indicates activity. There's also a vertical bar. Slide that over to the signal while you're aiming at the source. Music. Huh. It's modulating the signal, too. That's not all. The LDF? They're using pretty basic encryption. Scramblers? Yeah, poor bastards. Hard as nails, dumb as planks. You cracked their comsec. In a way. I swiped a couple grams of modafino from the medic supplies at Point Hopi, and exchanged it with a militia nut for the price of a genuine bluebell radio and its crypto key. Oh, Christ. Okay, so, go ahead. There ought to be some chatter, bouncing between whatever's going on at the factory and the burn pit, the short ways up the road. Oh, and yeah, don't forget to adjust the vertical frequency band. Otherwise, all you'll get is static. You used to be a translator, right? You get any of that? They're not talking about an industrial disaster, are they? You think this is a cover-up? I asked around about the factory. There was never any landfill there. The Soviets built it on top of an old sawmill. And as for that thing we saw in the sinkhole, I, I got nothing. You hear that? Sounds like a helo. Moving target. Try and catch him as he comes over. Nicely done. I guess you're going somewhere with this. I need a wingman. No. No, what you need's a fall guy. You are the fall guy, Rudd. The blue on blue. The loss of face. The protests. The politics. If the DOD can't pin it all on Russia, who you think they're gonna come to next? The LT? Or the pissed off linguist? Last seen, on that day, on a roof, with a fucking drone jammer. Yeah, I was with you, jackass. Or did you forget? Nah, I didn't forget. Drive us to the burn pit. And don't sweat it, I got a plan.
How the hell did you wind up in the army, Jack? Well, I'm not gonna say it was a join up or go to jail sort of deal, but uh, <laughs> nah, I'm throwing the bullshit flag on that one, pal. Though that would explain your problem with authority. I don't have a problem with authority. I just think shit ought to roll uphill sometimes. Hang a left here. Now what? Uh, put us over by them containers. Ugh, Jesus, that stench! Guess you can feel it coating up your lungs already, huh? Well, you got a choice. It's either step out of the cab and we shovel shit, or I run you through the plan, which I may add does not involve sucking in the sweet stuff. <laughs> okay. You in? Depends. You gonna get me killed? Not if you don't do anything stupid, I won't. Look, we're right next to the LDF's restricted zone. I'll distract the guards while you get near the factory. I made a load of notes on your map. Infill, exfill, plus a vantage point. You jimmy my footlocker to do that? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you very much. Yo, you're welcome. Soon as we hop out, beeline for the corner wall. There's a break which leads down into a gully. Uh, what's a gully? Six languages, and you don't know what a gully is. I'm disappointed. All right, so come on, let's do this. Hey, free bed. How's it going, Rudd? Yeah. Remind me why I'm doing this? Because you didn't want to play in Dookie, or end up in prison. You probably speak Russian, right? I'm not a sleeper agent. No, I know. Just don't shoot anyone. The Bluebells may be dicks, but uh, they're fighting for the good guys. <laughs> the world really is up black and white for you. What? Never mind. Careful as you go down, and if you got it on, Watch out for the flashlight on your Spectrum device. I'm gonna shake things up a little. Stipe, come in. Jack, talk to me. I'm hearing shots fired. Come in. Quite the diversion, ain't it? What the fuck did you just do? Relax, they're blanks. I chucked them in our crap barrels. Son of a bitch. Avoid roads and find a gap in their lines to sneak through. That's bought you a small window of opportunity. Better use it.
Hey, you should be near the vantage point by now. If you're still following the gully, you gotta go uphill and right. There's some rocks and one of them buried pyro containers. Beyond that, you'll have a real good view of what's going on below. Jack, you ain't gonna believe this. You were right. It's a black site. The LDF are building a dome over the sinkhole. I fucking knew it. I've seen a place like this before. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. The Spectrum device, it auto-records by default. Get any intel you can. We're gonna blow this whole thing open. Protocol. They took mine too. Phones or phone calls in or out. You want to talk? Use the radio. Stay in this channel. Switching frequencies. Hell. Don't take too kindly to that. All right. So main site. I guess you already know about. Second, we only just discovered. Hell, over near the helipad. Bring you up to speed. Update. The locals read you in. This shit's getting stranger by the second. There's a Scottish guy here, and he mentioned there's a second site. On the hill, where Point Dakota was. I'm not far off. It's quiet. One truck, not many lights. I reckon a half a click from the RV. Just check that fancy map of yours. You saying you want me to go, scope it out? Sure, why not? Because it's crazy. I'll never get through the factory. So don't go around or cut through. I don't care. But you gotta get a look in at that other location. The answers we need are there, I know it.
Alarms are going off. Nothing to do with me. You sure you didn't get spotted? Okay, wait. I got a view from here. Definitely a lot of movement. Yeah, something's got them on edge. Stay on track. If it ain't us, it's more chaos we can use.
Jack, you copy? I'm here. What you got? Not a lot. Though I'm close to our zone of interest. Great. Listen, there's gonna be at least a few LDF guys on guard there. You'll need to get creative. The Spectrum device has a signal library. And in that library, there's a signal. A message. From a jumped-up Bluebell Colonel. If we're lucky, we can deceive the sentries. Send them off fuck knows where. Station names haven't changed since the exercises. Grey Wolf's still in command and everyone else is using the standard NATO alphabet. That squad out there? We just gotta find out who they are. And how do we do that? Should be easy. Bring up the signal library screen.
Okay, I'm there. Switch to the music you recorded. If you send that signal in the direction of the squad on the company frequency, they'll radio HQ and report interference. That means you'll get to hear their call sign. You can then check the library again, see if there's an address to match their ID. If there is, use it. Same as with the music. Once they respond, select that movement order I told you about and relay it to them. Just don't broadcast shit randomly. If they realize they're the subject of electronic deception, they'll go dark. Same with the entire combat net. It all goes down. And we want to keep them talking. Exactly. But, uh, keep in mind, to hear both speakers in a conversation, you may have to redirect the device, unless they're more or less aligned. You can only detect what you're pointing at. There anything else I need to know? Yeah, and it's important. When impersonating a station, be careful about your background trajectory. You really don't want anyone receiving sent messages. It'll give the game away. Just transmit the music, listen for a response, pose as Grey Wolf, contact them specifically, and issue our fake command. Fine, got it. Uh, what if I hit a rut? Then you can figure out how to make your own distraction. Szary wilk, odbiór. Tu w to nie odbiłem, co rozumiano. Bez odbioru. Wilk, tracimy sygnał. Powtórz. Odbiór. Elta, tu szary wilk, odbiór. Szukaj 
Szukaj śladów aktywności wroga. Odbiór. Powtórz to, news. Czary Wilk, tracimy sygnał. Powtórz. Odbiór. Delta, tu Szary Wilk. Odbiór. Powtórz to, nie usłyszeliśmy ostatniej wiadomości. Odbiór. Kierunek, wschód. Szukaj śladów aktywności wroga. Odbiór. Wilk, powtórz. Odbiór. Śladów aktywności wroga. Odbiór. Cóż to, nie usłyszeliśmy ostatniej wiadomości. Odbiór. Odbiór. Delta, tu szary wilk. Odbiór. Śladów aktywności wroga. Odbiór. Przyjąłem. Wykonuję. Jedziemy. Bez odbioru. It's me. I can't believe it. They bought it. Oh, ye of little faith. Once they're gone, get a look in. Alarms are going off. Nothing to do with me. You sure you didn't get spotted? Okay, wait. I got a view from here. Definitely a lot of movement. Yeah, something's got them on edge. Stay on track. If it ain't us, it's more chaos we can use. Jack, you copy? I'm here. What you got? Not a lot. Though I'm close to our zone of interest. Great. Listen, there's gonna be at least a few LDF guys on guard there. You'll need to get creative. The Spectrum device has a signal library. And in that library, there's a signal. A message. From a jumped-up Bluebell Colonel. If we're lucky, we can deceive the sentries. Send them off fuck knows where. Station names haven't changed since the exercises. Grey Wolf's still in command and everyone else is using the standard NATO alphabet. That squad out there? We just gotta find out who they are. And how do we do that? Should be easy. Bring up the signal library screen. Okay, I'm there. Switch to the music you recorded. If you send that signal in the direction of the squad on the company frequency, they'll radio HQ and report interference. That means you'll get to hear their call sign. You can then check the library again, see if there's an address to match their ID. If there is, use it. Same as with the music. Once they respond, select that movement order I told you about and relay it to them. Just don't broadcast shit randomly. If they realize they're the subject of electronic deception, they'll go dark. Same with the entire combat net. It all goes down. And we want to keep them talking. Exactly. But, uh... Keep in mind, to hear both speakers in a conversation, you may have to redirect the device, unless they're more or less aligned. You can only detect what you're pointing at. There anything else I need to know? Yeah, and it's important. When impersonating a station, be careful about your background trajectory. You really don't want anyone receiving sent messages. It'll give the game away. Just transmit the music, listen for a response, pose as Grey Wolf, contact them specifically, and issue our fake command. Fine, got it. Uh, what if I hit a rut? Then you can figure out how to make your own distraction.
Delta, odbiór. Coś zakłóca nam sygnał. Jak to wygląda po waszej stronie? Odbiór. Delta, tu szary wilk, odbiór. It's me. I can't believe it. They bought it. Oh, ye of little faith. Once they're gone, get a look in. Sorry, no answers. The only questions. What? Knock it off with that mystic shit. Is it another one of those things? Yeah. They dug it up. Looks like they were doing tests on it, or some kind of fumigation. Can you cut a piece of it off and take it with you? <laughs> you can fuck right off if you think I'm gonna touch it. Okay. Can you lift a laptop or something? Too risky. But once they see stuff missing, they'll be on us. Shit, wait. I got a USB stick on a keychain. Yeah? Awesome. Access something. Copy paste desktop folders and get them on it. Oh no. There's a helo. I know. Bug out, I ain't kidding. Just another two seconds. You said you'd only get yourself killed if you did something stupid, bro. This is it. Jack? Please tell me you didn't just take down that helicopter. I didn't take down the fucking helicopter. Did you see what happened? No. Negative. Power surge. All the lights are out. Everywhere. Make like hell. North. Head north. To the tree line. There's a ranger's cabin in the forest. You think it's a Russian offensive? Gotta be. Atmospheric EMP. Better, they just went nuclear on us. Our radios? They're built for it. Keep moving, I'm gonna pop a flare. No, wait, you idiot, the LDF! You're gonna give away my position!
Oh, oh. So we're torching the place now. Oh, that's a great idea, Jack. Start a fire. Let's kick back, roast some fucking marshmallows. It ain't my fault. Maybe we can help it spread, huh? Burn the whole goddamn world, yeah? Hey, it ain't my fault. Flare came down on the roof. Not your fault? Not your fault? How's this anything but your fault? Oh, if the price of stupid goes up five bucks a barrel, I'm drilling a hole in your head first, pal. Hey, asshole. Don't go shooting off fancy fighting words if you ain't got the brass neck to back them up. Mother of God! Aliens. <laughs> Fucking aliens! I never... never believed this could... Oh my god. Oh my god, bruh. Hey, hey, you know? Yeah? Shit the fuck! You guys saw it? The hell it looked like! <laughs> it was uh, big? Bright? Sort of squid-like. Smooth. Metallic. Holy fucking shit. And stuff was just... Just rising off the ground, floating. Are you seeing? No, we lost power. A bunch of us left Conrad. I was driving and... Uh, damn, yeah, damn, uh... Colonel Richter's dead. What? His helmet crashed. Jesus. You know who's in charge, Dill? Here? Uh, the Don. He's bringing arrivals up to speed. Oh, fuck me. You guys, you gotta go. Get the G2. Listen up. I got good news, bad news, and the biggest news of human history. If any of you doubt that, just take a look at Corporal Stipe. That is not the face of someone who hasn't just stepped off the magical fucking mystery tour. No. This gentleman is a first contact scenario. With what, sir? Intelligent life, Private. And I don't mean the sort you find every time you cross the state line. About one hour ago, an alien flying object entered Livonian airspace and came to a standstill above the old factory. There was some advance warning, but due to logistics chaos, nothing reached us in time, and what did, we didn't understand. Contrary to whatever you might have heard, there's no playbook for this sort of situation. And to make matters worse, there's been a, uh, what do you call it? A transitory high-power microwave pulse. A transitory high-power microwave pulse. HPM, not EMP. For us, that's the same difference. Electronics are foobar. If it wasn't in a shipping container or a Faraday, you can bet your ass it's cooked. That goes for nods, gun lights, non-tritium optics, and most of our vehicles. Old with diesel, yes. Gasoline, no. Also, pacemakers. Hence the reason I'm talking to you now and not the colonel. I only casualty so far, but a problematic one. He overturned on the road, blocking access to Point Hopi. The Sparkies there have functioning equipment. Which is slowly coming in, but it might be some time before we can unfuck this mess. Sir, are aliens responsible for the HPM? Is this an invasion? That's unknown, Sergeant. Our trunk network's down. 
There is no way we can reach Yukon. To the world, we've just gone dark. Yet it appears it's not worldwide, not even nationwide. A forest ranger drove in from Stokovsko. His off-road's fine, and he was less than an hour away. Now, I appreciate you all want some answers. Doctor, if you would. Good evening, lads. I'm Dr. Ian Kesson, a theoretical physicist and professor at Maxwell University, Edinburgh. With me is Dr. Shimon Chapek, whose bloody t-shirt says it all. So anyway, let me cut to the chase. Eight days ago, I was approached in a bizarre manner by the international space agency, Astra. They asked me to travel to Livonia. TS clearance, a short stay in Bosch and out. No questions. I figured they wanted me to investigate your training disaster. I wasn't wrong. But they also wanted my scientific assessment of an object spotted in a sinkhole that collapsed after the accident occurred. It was the root cap of a much larger subterranean structure. The tip is something that has been growing for millions of years. And though it's older than mankind, Earth is not its home. I can only imagine our interplanetary guests have arrived because of that discovery. And let me add, the Livonians didn't want this going public. The toxic vapors story was just a cover. A necessary lie to ensure biosecurity. Obviously, that's no longer going to stick. Our research said that at the factory, it's been abandoned. Everybody scattered once we realized what was coming. Needless to say, we'd only a wee bit of time to prepare. None of us really expected such a attention. Put simply, we're on the back foot. Recon's our next objective. Lieutenant Kingsley and a small team are moving towards the factory as I speak. They have a mini UGV with them, courtesy of Dr. Chopek. Luckily, it was stored underground, in a testing range, which means it should still be operational. Specialist Rudwell. Sir. Try and connect using the laptop on that desk there. Hey, yeah. Doctor, I'm not familiar with the software. Uh, it's the Evo app. Huh, <laughs> no shit. Hold your thumbs. Our moment of truth. Excellent. We have telemetry. ED1E. So, do we call him Eddie? Fuck him. E, not another one. Hear that, Ian? I fuck off. Let's hope we can get the video feed. I got visual. Get him up on the screen. Great. That's great. Audio? Track lock's on. You won't have any movement yet. Systems check. Mind if we test your binding first? You're the doc, doc. Can you pan the camera? All the way to the left. And same to the right. Now back to our friend in the mask. That's good. Can you give us a nod? Fantastic. Okay, next, manipulator arm. Can you raise it for me?
Now, take it down again. Excellent. Extend it forward. That's it. And move it back. There you go. Servers all seem fine. And how do I unlock these tracks? Ah, thanks. Just not too fast, eh? Uh, do you want to play with the laser? Oh, the name of the wee man. It's not something you play with. No, I know. <laughs> Relax. He's got to do a uh, dry run, though. Hasn't he? Uh, Eddie's got a duplex sensing instrument. Gets us the composition of different rocks and stuff. Go ahead and try pulsing something. Uh, it consists of a laser-induced breakdown spectrometer and a remote microimager, which is why we call it LIPS RMI. Let me explain it again in English. Huh? Oh, it, um, excites tiny spots into ionized gas, which we can then examine with a telescope, giving us an elemental readout. Yep, very imaginative. Let's check what we've got in the log. Huh, a healthy dose of potassium, calcium, phosphorus, nitrogen, and quite a bit of carbon, actually. Not surprising, considering you're in a forest. Lots of, Tom. That's total organic matter, just in case you were wondering. Anyway, he's all set. Guide the robot onto the road then. Sapphire 1-1 one, one are ready and waiting. Rendezvous and let's go from there. Yes, sir. Sapphire Actual, this is Alchemist. The mini UGV's online and coming to you. Stand by, over. Roger, standing by. You nervous, Lieutenant? Shitting nickels, Major. And uh, hot as hell in this moon suit, over. Remember, you volunteered, Kingsley. Get your game face on, out.
great. Let's try that again. Nope.
know where you're going, but sure as shit ain't the right fucking way now, is it? Bravo, genius. That robot was mission critical and now it's outside our AO. 